Hi, I'm Michelle Marsh and you're watching FHM.com. Tonight I am in Stringfellows and I'm going to be performing my single for all the big shops and all the press and lots of my friends and um, hopefully they will decide to put it in their shops and hopefully people will buy it. <laughs> Not, my modelling career is, you know, it's my main business, it's my main job. This is kind of like just a sideline, someone's given me an opportunity to do it. So I thought, you know, it, why not? It's a great opportunity and anyone else would jump at it. So it's just, you know, a little thing on the side, see how it goes. I don't do basically what I'm told to do. If somebody tells me not to do something, I'll do it just as, you know, twice as much. Uh, it's basically just, it's quite, um, it's like a girl telling a guy, don't tell me to do this because I'm going to go and do it. Do you know what I mean? Don't do what you're told, you do what you want to do. So it's just basically saying that. I definitely do takeaways. I'm a little bit of a better cook than what I used to be. I used to be a terrible cook. Beans and toast was like just, just me. But um, yeah, definitely do takeaways. I love every kind of food that you could imagine. There's nothing that I don't like. <laughs> I don't really have a chat up line, but I think chat up lines have had their day. If anybody still uses them, I think they're, you know, a bit, a bit of a loser. Just kind of, just being a nice guy, being normal and just saying, oh, you know, just having a chat and asking me if I want a drink and not being like, oh, you know, get your cold, you pulled. That's just like so lame. It's had its day, it needs to go. I'd probably say wait until maybe the Christmas party or something like that and then um, have a few drinks together, get talking to her and then maybe just throw the stuff on the desk, tap it gently and she'll come running, hopefully. <laughs> I think probably the weirdest thing I've seen online is all like the weird porn stuff like girls like firing things out of themselves like apples and ping pong balls and everything like that. That's probably up there with some of the weird stuff. I would have a mirror that you could carry around in your handbag like that, but folded and folded and folded and folded and open to a big one so you could see yourself properly rather than having these little mirrors and being like, mm. there you go. It's good, huh? If I saw an envelope on the street and I noticed that there was five grand in it, I would pocket the lot big time. Hell yes. I can't lie, I'd still keep it. <laughs> I would. No, I'd go and give her summer. I'd go and drop her a 20 or something and say, I love her. Have a good day. <laughs>